guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Terry, and I like to buy stuff, and you found Terry Buy Stuff. Hey, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button, ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified of more shopping fun that happens right here on this channel, like we're gonna do today. So today, I have a product that I wanted to, and it's open, I'll explain why. I wanted to bring to you, A, before October, for Oktoberfest, B, before the holidays, and see to let you know this is one of Oprah's favorite things. So I really wanted to try standard Eastern provisions pretzels. And I kind of thought this might make a good gift for the upcoming holidays, just because we're in a, you know, we're in a different time right now that I think people just want to bring warmth, comfort, and, and something nice to people for the holidays. And at the price point that once you get on their website and you see what you can buy at different price points i think if these taste amazing and good like they say they do in the videos i think i might have found the great gift that you can celebrate and send to anyone on your gift list and also we might like these so much it might just become a staple in the stuff house so here's the thing they send you emails and they give you specific instructions that if you get your box you gotta a cook it right away or b put it in the freezer I have seen videos of other people that say they had moldy pretzels, and I think it's because they didn't follow the directions. So here's what came in the box. Standard heat and eat nutrition guide. Because I got the Oktoberfest, I got a sticker. <laughs> so maybe this becomes another one of those, um, you know, stick it on my computer PC or something. I'm a sticker gal. I'm also a German gal. So let me tell you. Pretzels, if you told me I had to pick one food to survive the rest of my life and that's all I could eat, it would be a really hard decision to go between pizza or pretzels. And I might choose the pizza because you could put meat and veggies and all that stuff on it. So when this box came to my house via FedEx, right away, I took everything out and I threw them in the freezer. But I wanted to show you what you get. So this was the Oktoberfest box. Whew. Heat now. <laughs> or freeze for later. So I have the pretzel bites that came in there. This is the classic knot, a really big pretzel. I got another classic knot. Uh, maybe a smaller knot. Are these called knots? Oh, this is called top knot. And this is called wheelhouse. And then I got another one. I believe this is gonna be a wheelhouse too. Now, I'm gonna put back in the freezer what we're not gonna cook today because again, I think it's really cool that you can put it in the freezer. And let's just say Mr. Stuff and I wanna split a pretzel on a, you know, Friday night, have a little, little brewski, split a pretzel, watch some sports, maybe. <laughs> Um, Friday night is our sports. No, I think that'd be a weekend thing. But we could just make a pretzel. So I think today what we'll do here is we'll try one of these large knots. So I'm going to put these three back. And then I'll take out a few of these bites so we can see what the bites are. Everybody loves pretzel bites. When I go to a... Here in Las Vegas, we have um, these standard kind of bar restaurants, a little bit of gaming going on inside there. And there's this one, oh my gosh, I go there just so I can get the pretzel bites because they're so good. So I'm gonna try a few of these as well. So again, we did the right thing and got them in the freezer right away because they came on a Wednesday. Today is a Saturday. There's no way they would have made it. They would have molded out because it's all fresh ingredients. This is a company that started in Boston. They have deep roots throughout the whole Eastern area over there. And uh, the chef worked tirelessly to try to get something with a brioche feel in the middle and that Bavarian kind of pretzel crust on the outside. I love pretzels, so I can't wait to dive in. So let's do this. I'm gonna put these away. There you go, assistant, off to the side. I'm gonna quick look at these heat and serve instructions. For the top knot, it says um, if frozen, 400 for eight to 10 minutes. For the pretzel bites, 
three to four minutes at 400 degrees. These are frozen. So, oh, let me show you real quick. Because this was the Oktoberfest box, there's many other products you can choose from. This was already a pre-selected box. I got, what is a pretzel without a good Eastern Standard Provisions Maui Onion Mustard? Yes, I can't wait to try, let's open it. Oh, that smells so good. This smells like a bar. You guys, it smells like we're out. Okay, so we're gonna plate some of that up. And then we've got the Standard Provisions Pretzel Salt. So our directions, conventional oven, preheat your oven. They recommend fully thawing the pretzels though. Just to let you know, they do recommend that. Heat the pretzels, place them on a nonstick cookie sheet or parchment paper. Brush with butter, water, or olive oil. Sprinkle in your choice of pretzel salt. Bake pretzels until heated through, and then take them out of the oven. They'll be light, airy, and ready to enjoy. So pretty easy. Even I can do it. So let's go try it out. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I want to do this right, and I think I want to give them a little time to defrost. So let's take this out, and I will go do something around the house. I think I have some towels I can go fold. <laughs> we'll let this defrost a little bit. I really want to give this its its full legitimate chance. And if they suggest, I'm going to make a few of these to share with the family. Um, if they're suggesting that I, you know, basically let these thaw out, I do want to give it a good, good shot. So, and also another thing here like this, I have a food saver. So I think what I'll do is I'll food save these other pretzel bites. Mr. Stuff and I can eat these couple, but um, keep them fresh in the freezer because something tells me, just even smelling them, I can already tell they're going to be an amazing pretzel. So I'm going to let these thaw. I'll be back. I'm going to go do some laundry and uh, you'll be here along for the ride. So it'll be a good time. We'll be back with our full pretzel presentation. <laughs> okay, guys, real quick in between, I lightly buttered these okay here's my ready to go you can use like i said olive oil water or butter i think butter makes it all the more like bravarian and i'm just taking my salt and i'm salting it i you know i'm gonna do some of these knots with a lot of salt i don't think mr stuff likes some salt so much salt <laughs> you know salt's not something i should be eating all the time but this is a treat and again, I'm really wanting to see if these are good enough that I can use these to like send to friends and family over the holidays. Or, you know, if somebody I know just needs a pick me up, how cool if this, if this is really as good as it is, I'm hopeful. I am hopeful and Oprah's never steered me wrong. So I think that looks pretty good. You know, salt falls off anyways. But what's a pretzel without salt? You have to have the salt. I'd rather put almost too much salt on and let somebody kind of knock the salt off than not have enough salt. So there we go. We are salted. I'm going to go ahead. They, they thawed out, gave us their, I sat on the counter, gave us our time to thaw. So now the cooking instruction changes. Instead of the 400, I have less cook time and I move up to 425. 425 on the top knot, six to eight minutes. The pretzel bites, 425, three to four minutes. So I'm going to put them all in together. I'll first time it, take the bites out, and then let the top knot finish. And then we're going to be back and try these awesome pretzels. Okay, so the little bites have come out. We did these. I don't want to spill this mustard. We did, and they're buttery, so I don't want to slip off. We did these in my convection oven following the instructions that came with standard preheat and heat. So when they were frozen, they were at 400. When they're thawed, they're at 425. So we did that. On um, these, we went closer to the, I think we're about three and a half minutes. We tested one just to make sure. And it was very, it was very tasty. Um, and it seemed like a good texture, consistency, and a little bit of crunch. So I'm letting these cool just a minute because they're really hot. I think once you put that butter on there and that butter heats up, this is the stuff that, um, you know, you want them warm, but you don't want to like 
burn yourself and get blisters. So we're going to let this cool off. There's a few more minutes to go on the top knot. And of course, that is their signature standard pretzel. When you look at the wheelhouse, which is smaller, and I'll show you the close-up of this right here. None of these pretzels are the standard pretzel shape. Um, they're best known for their top knot. The turnbuckle, I think, would be very good. And then, of course, the slide piece. I would be interested in that to make little pretzel burgers. So I think, and you can see up here what I'm talking about, but it's all included here. And this comes with it. Also, the nutrition information. Oh, I was going to say, I'm looking at the top knot. Only two grams of carbs. No, it's 54. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's a pretzel. You enjoy this. Um, and it, it's game day food. It's fun food. It's you're having a dinner party food. It's the family comes over for dinner type. You know, here's your little pre-snacks. I mean, I would have this out with maybe some nuts, some cheese, something else that was not in the Oktoberfest box, but I would love to have is melted cheese. So that would be another option. But being the Oktoberfest box and in true Bavarian style, we're about the mustard. We're about the salt and the mustard. And this mustard is so fragrant. It comes with it. But, you know, you may have some good mustards in your own refrigerator that you can pair right along with this mustard. So that that's pretty exciting. So I think I'm in a good space that I can try one of these top knots I see in my convection oven. I'm just about ready um, or actually pretzel bites. I see the top knot's just about ready. So let me rip one of these. Oh, it's still really hot. You guys, still so hot. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is just amazing. Look at that. So that gooey inside. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try. Oh, look at that. Yes. And this was six minutes. So we let this go for the full six and we've got nice little cracks going on, but I'm just going to taste a little bit of this onion mustard that came with it. Just put it right there on the pretzel and take a bite of this. I love a good mustard. Okay, here we go. Taste test. I should try You know what? Hold on. Let's try it plain. Mmm. That was a good pretzel. It's chewy. The salt's amazing. Mm. The salt is really good. Okay, let me try it with the mustard. Oh my God. I'm in a bar. This is so good. I seriously feel like I'm in a bar. I'm gonna make sure I don't eat all these because Mr. Stuff deserves it. One more bite and then we're gonna go for the big top knot. So I'm gonna try another one with the with that mustard. This mustard, I'll eat the whole thing. Nobody's gonna get that mustard. Cause I'm gonna eat it all. Okay, hold on. I think I see off to the side, we might've found some cheese in our house. Mmm, 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 it's so good. Oh my God, look. We found some cheese. Leave it to the stuff house to have some cheese, okay. Let's break this in half. I want you to see this. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Okay. Let me try to hold this up in front of you here. Use my little Amazon.com. <laughs> All right. So this is really hot. But I want you to see the cracks. Look. Doesn't that look heavenly? Oh my God, this look, mm. When you go to a movie theater, you go to a ball game, that's when you get a pretzel, right? This is way better, from just tasting this, this is way better than any of those. I'm gonna compare this to the mall where you go and get, um, there's two major brands. One is Wetzel's, I believe the other is Annie's. This is that. This is closer to that for sure. Um, but this is better than any pretzel I have tried. Okay, I'm going to break some of this off and just try it. Ooh, hot! The knot is always my favorite part, though. Ah, I 
gonna have to let this cool for a minute. So that's the good part too. These are fresh and hot. You're never gonna get them this hot going out to eat because by the time they walk them back to you or they hand them over or whatever, they've been sitting under a light. Not like this. My whole house smells like Bavarian heaven right now. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, let me see, can I touch it? Ah, it's still hot, it's still hot. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on it here. I think I can get away with this now. Oh, jeez. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, this is the stuff. This is just, um, we had this from taco night last night. I think this is just cheese in a can. Mr. Stuffer. <laughs> he buys this cheese in a can because he loves it. I try not to eat it too much, but honestly, it's the stuff on here. This is so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try a little bit of this in the mustard. Mm-mm-mm. You know what? I'm just gonna send everybody this for the holiday and call Christmas done. Who needs to shop when you can just buy this? But again, I can't stress enough because I've watched a lot of videos on this product. You gotta put this in the freezer or cook it right away or you will be an unhappy person because it's so fresh, it'll mold. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Lauren Moran is the chief baker. Her story's on here. Guys, I want a quick look in their store. Because this mustard is so good. I'm wondering, can I order this mustard as extra? Because honestly, I hit the ad. I hit the ad. Hallelujah, you can order the pretzels, the sauces, the salts, and even the sugars. I never even thought of that. Hold on, hold the phone. Okay, so the Maui onion mustard, which is what I'm eating right now, is $6.99 on their website. They also have truffle mustard, truffle hot sauce, a whole gourmet pack. And then the salts, they have lemon, rosemary, everything spice. My daughter would like that because she likes that everything bagel spice. Chili lime salt, looking full of pretzels. White truffle pretzel salt, pretzel salt. French toast sugar. You could make morning French toast sugar pretzels. What? Oh, here. Let me see that. Look it. We have that stuff. So, again, we could shake that on here. But... It may be even better coming from Eastern Standard Provisions because these, these people have it down. Also, some other things on their website. They have recipes. They have gifts. They have all kinds of stuff. Um, patty melt on a turnbuckle. Oh, sign me up, please. The Wheelhouse Caprizi Burger for you vegans that don't want to eat any meat. That's perfect for you. Top Knot Burger in a Hole. Okay, we could be... I have some work to do. I have some more research to do on this website. And I really think I am gonna be sending this out as a holiday gift. I think I'm gonna be ordering more for the stuff house because what a fun, just different snack, fun, family, fullness, yummy. All right, guys, I gotta pull it out. Bye, hands up, thumbs up, it's happening. Carry my stuff big thumbs up for Eastern Standard Provisions and their pretzels. This has my 100% recommendation for your holiday gift shopping or your anytime just fun and you need something different shopping and you love pretzels. So I appreciate you being here as always guys and I love you for it. Every video that you're with us, we appreciate you and we ask if you're not a subscriber, hey, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and that way you'll be notified of more shopping fun that happens here on this channel. So as always you guys, I do appreciate you and I love you and we will see you on the next round. I'm gonna go eat some more pretzels. Thanks so much. Till next time guys, bye. Hmm.